You're watching Nation at 9. I'm Gauri Devedi. Now, foreign media is back with their bizarre agenda. To them, Chandrayaan 2 would have been a, a welcome distraction from India's dipping economy, from abrogation of Article 370, from the many other problems they believe plague us and need our immediate attention. What's amazing about the West is their ability to preach. For years, they were ahead, using up all our resources to win the title of global superpower. So you can't really blame them because old habits, of course, die hard. But these are countries that mastered the art of lecturing others while refusing to focus on their own internal matters. But it's this better than thou attitude that needs to be exposed and questioned. Who are you to tell us uh, what our focus should be is a question that many are asking tonight, uh, not just me. Who says a country cannot excel in science while fixing matters that quite honestly do take a while to resolve? Where is it written and when if it is done, we are done uh, taking instructions from the West, we stand today proud of our achievements and in complete awareness of what we do need to fix back home. So this anti-India agenda which slaps you in the face once you choose to see it needs to be called out. When New York Times links Chandrayaan to an attempt to di distract the world from what's going on in Kashmir, they need to be questioned. Their space racism stems from their continuing belief in the white man's burden, from the belief that it's upon them to deliver civilization to, well, the non-white, the developing nations, as they call it. So no, thank you. We do not need your lectures. We are ready to compete with the best of the best. And that's a reality foreign media will have to accept sooner than later. And some of those uh, cartoons uh, that BBC put out on your screens right now uh, should be called out, must be called out. And yes, Many have, in fact, spoken out against them openly. BJP is being represented by Yatinda Chaudhary with us on the broadcast. Chetan Singh, uh, essentially, as I said, the contra voice uh, on the panel. Uh, Mr. Deshrata Nigam, political analyst. Robinda Sachdev, uh, international affairs expert. Professor Nalapat, the uh, editorial director of the Sunday Guardian. And, uh, and in fact, uh, uh, is, is Professor Nalapat with us? All right. Before before I get in, Professor Nalapad, let's get in. Let's get in a voice uh, from uh, Robinda Sachdev. You know, when we put out some of these anti-India agendas, you can see whether it is New York Times, whether it's Washington Post, whether it's BBC, they all seem to be s stemming from the same bias that has always plagued Western media, Western thought. Absolutely. Two points. You know, fair enough. One can understand them saying that politically, the government maybe wants to do something to for creating a distraction. Maybe. But, you know, they're completely wrong in this aspect. The scheduling of the Chandrayaan is a total scientific project. You know, Chandrayaan would have maybe been taken, off, taken off a couple of years ago had our Russian collaboration worked out with Roscosmos, hmm. and which was pulled out because they couldn't perform, it got delayed. So scientific projects have their own life, they have their own timelines. Hmm. So to ascribe the fact that this was scheduled to kind of, you know, be taking place at a point of time when in India the economy, I mean, is maybe there's some questions about the economy or the tensions in, uh, around Kashmir is, I think, totally, uh, is a total, uh, I mean, it, it indicates that you're looking for reasons to kind of ascribe to what, your pers what you want to convey. Mm. So what they want to convey is that the, the, the Indian government is maybe scheduling things which want to take a... Uh, you, you know, know but, you know, I'll tell you things. what, Yatinda Chaudhary, it's not like we're not going to ask you questions of why is it that growth is dipping and what is it that you're going to do to revive the economy. Those questions will be asked and must be asked. Uh, having said that, at no point of time do two things need to be either or or and that's exactly why we are calling out the foreign media's bias. And the scheduling of this is totally exactly. a scientific project. The project lines. Absolutely. Abs absolutely true. No, I'll tell you one thing. India has faced this mindset for a very long time, madam. This colonial mindset, this colonial mindset, we are dealing it for, I mean, decades and decades. We need to ignore it. We need to move forward. And we need to keep doing our work. And what is our work? Our work is to make our country as a developed nation. Now, coming back to today's topic of Chandrayaan 2, may mm. I ask a question to the foreign media? Mm. Are, we, are we just doing this? Are we just doing it for the Indian citizens? Mm. No. We were doing this for the entire humanity. Mm. The entire humanity could have, could have been benefited by it. Mm. I, mean, I mean, the Western world needs to understand this. Mm. 
that it's not a prerogative of only a certain country. Exactly. Now the world has changed. Exactly. Demography has changed. Power centers have exactly. changed. Exactly. I think, I think, you know what? So what, they need to accept hmm. it. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, uh, this is a question I throw open both to Chetan Singh and Deshatan Nigam that, you know, this is essentially stemming from discomfort that there is there is another country which is developing, which still has miles to go when it comes to yes. several economic pa yes. uh, parameters, is also looking to break the glass ceiling, is also going to be with us on the high table. It's yes. just the discomfort. See, no, let, no. Me, let, me, let me just hmm. uh, build a, a background why they are doing it. You uh, uh, rightly called it space racism. Hmm. You know why? No, when you land on a moon and choose South Pole, it is all about location. Hmm. Now this location, uh, and there is an international space treaty hmm. of 1967, which says nobody can own the space or anybody, yes. but there is a loophole. Hmm. Loophole comes that anybody who goes there hmm. will be able to establish space research stations hmm. and also bar others from you know, uh, stopping them. Hmm. That gives them some kind of a property right. Hmm. And therefore, South Pole becomes very important. A lot of private parties are also trying to land up there. Yes. So, India being one of the contenders now, in terms of the treaty and the loopholes which are there in treaty, which everybody is trying to exploit, and the South Pole becomes very important because of the availability of ice, hmm. rare earth materials that you have, hmm. and fuel also available out there, which will help further future outer uh, missions in the outer yes, space. Yes. So India has become a contender. Mm. So you got to bring down India, yes. deride it mm. and, and make them feel as if you are nothing. That mm. is what Western media is trying to do. So, so India mm. has already established records after records, mm. 104 satellites in one, in one go. go yes. and, and South Pole is landing on moon is all mm. about location. Yes. Please remember that. Yes. It is about South Pole, not mm. anywhere else. Of Everybody course. else has landed in other places. But South Pole yes. is about return of humans again and establishing yes. permanent stations for outer space. Mm. Yes. Chetan Singh, you had a point see, to make. See, I mean, uh, technically, I agree with him. But when it comes down to the subject, as they are mentioned, because of space, racism, or why they are coming up with this kind of statement, I think, you know, I mean, our, our government need to play a very vital role out there. So, and this is not coming only on newspapers or media or so. You see, in all sectors, you said about economy, we are facing it. And it is happening. So, what it shows, what it depicts, no, but it I'm, demonstrates. My question is that, no, no. that I'm not going to stop asking the BJP questions on the economy. But does that mean I'll stop lauding other Indian scientific communities' achievements? No, no, no. They are it's two not things. either or, or. See, there are two things. One is our achievement, our mm. scientist achievement. Second is what is happening on ground. Mm. On ground, it's very serious. It's a very, you know, pathetic, mm. terrible situation. See, see, look, it's not like reportage has stopped on that. See, so. but, but, you know, I mean, it is important for us to put our foot down very firmly on ground. So, if our Indian government has not been able to take a strong step, against diplomatic what? step, diplomatic step. Against what? Against these countries. When we, we say something some something which is not suiting to their... Countries ear, are not saying see, this is certain no, these media are, houses. These, it's are, a these media, are publications. See, 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 see it is media houses and all who are saying it, but why they are saying it? There is something which is, okay, you know, I mean, so, we need to interpret it very hmm, strongly. Okay, so... Uh, Yes, you know, uh, brevity is an art that, uh, you know, I urge Mr. Chetan Singh to, to develop. But, you know, I've understood what you're saying. And I'm not going to ask you another question, which is that if you think this is about perception, this is about optics, and India needs to be more proactive, then help us understand how do we dispel this kind of myth that is being generated by some of these uh, uh, media houses. See, it is, Tell us. See, it is important for us, for our government, for our diplomatic mm affairs, relations, people to put this very strongly to the government of that specific country. No, but then this is freedom and of speech summon and, and the freedom embassies of the fourth estate. No, no, summoning mm. uh, and to summon these embassies too. Okay, look, no, but this why, is freedom of, this, is, this comes in the freedom of the see, fourth estate. Of course, it comes up mm. in the freedom of space. He looks up, they're not going to accept if we're going to say something like that. This is what in the past okay, also okay, there okay, have been. All right, Ravindra Sajdev, is there a broader anti-India bias when it comes to Western thought process that, and these publications are just the outlet for us to be able to gauge it? Is that is that what you think Chetan Singh is saying here? Uh, what he's saying, I think, mm. is something slightly different, but mm. I'll come to your core question yes. and I'll answer it in three points. Mm. One, definitely, yes, some of it is stemming from, you know, the discomfort, old perceptions and old mindsets and mm. also competition arising from India. So that's one bunch of factors influencing. Mm. The second bunch of factors which is influencing is, 
you know the overall political economy or the way the media is structured. You remember in the 1960s, there was a heavy debate about the North and the South. Hmm. North being the rich nations, South being the poor yes. nations. The media and you know was controlled by the North because they had more infrastructure. Yes. They had more correspondence across the world, etc. So they could cover more uh, you know news and then they could distribute more the news, which could end up in the South and South could not counter that. Hmm. So that's partially playing out also here. The third point here, which Deshrathanji mentioned, in terms of the space perspective, hmm. it's something like that. Yes, whoever reaches there first okay. is becomes part of the club, and it's something like property rights, homesteading. Of Remember course. in America, first whoever would come could come could go and capture the property, and that becomes your property. Hmm. So that fear of homesteading or property rights, uh, India hmm. achieving especially in the South Pole of the Moon, is one factor. So these are three broad reasons for your answer. Hmm. I think what Chetan is saying maybe is something slightly different on communication perception. Okay. There the government could do something, but I think it's much more a role which hmm. has to be tackled in a much different manner uh, through better communication. It's a, a, it's an image perceptions hmm. war out there. Okay, let's let's get in the BJP spokesperson to respond to it. How much of this is optics? How much of this is actually uh, 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 you know bias that can be addressed by the government? How much of this should just be best completely ignored? Let India's achievements do all the talking. No, one thing is true that this perception is going on. That is that is true to say. But my my thing is little different. Uh, let 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 them say whatever they want to say. Hmm. I don't think we should get into in answering the questions of the Western world, in saying that no no please you look into internal affairs. Hmm. Why are you going forward for the space programs and all? I think absolutely we should ignore it. We should move forward. We have a leader who can think about the future generations. He is thinking mm. also. The Western world will keep doing their job. When we, when we, when we, when we reach to a certain position, they will accept it. That's a very old philosophy. That people will, people will absolutely criticize you till the time you reach to a certain level. When you if cannot you reach be ignored. a certain level, they will mm. accept you. And like when then you're not, move when you cannot be ignored is when... Is when absolutely. they just accept your uh, achievements. Hmm. All right, See. but you know, I, I come back to the point, uh, and you know, this is a question absolutely. I ask you as well, Chetan. That uh, one end, of course, uh, is the optics of it, the the sheer bias that exists, and on the other hand, is uh, you know, individual interests of these countries. You know, when you talk about the fact that there are limited to no laws that are available right now, ideally, it's going to be a first come, first serve. That is what has happened in 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 in, uh, in several of these nuclear, nuclear. Uh, rules it's and all Arctic, such rules. It's happening in Arctic, research in the Arctic. Exactly, uh, you know. All yes. of the when you talk about the entire set of uh, rules of the game when it comes to nuclear, uh, it's all about who See, came so first and scripted those rules. Absolutely, I so it is individual you. interests of the countries as well which is at stake. Yeah, I agree, but again, what is our interest? We have to put our interest first. See, when it comes down to you said about Article Three Seventy, when it comes down to other instances too. So they are, you know, keeping a very close eye. It's not like eye. the world is not reporting about no, no, Article no. 370. See, see, absolutely, they are mm. reporting it. We are giving some different messages. They are giving some diff different messages too. So therefore, you know, there is a there is a something which is true perception now. Mm. It is not perception. It is like true perception. Second, when it comes down to these kind of, you know, I mean, space achievement or so, see, I somehow disagree that they are just trying to mock it. They are just trying to tease do? us. You know what exactly they are trying to put it across? See. Uh, look at our, you know, uh, I mean, uh, the trade treaties, uh, uh, I mean, the trade relationship with these co with these countries, it is deteriorating day by day. The trade war is there. It has there. nothing to do with the BBC no, no, cartoon. It, Have you seen the, uh, can we put out the Vande uh, Matram cartoon for BBC? See, there is an let's agenda. Let's put that. Let's, see, let's, of course, let's, of let's tell our viewers what exactly is the bias that BBC is putting correct. out. Yes. So, of course, there is a, some kind mm. of propaganda. They want to ensure that, you know, India is trying to do something which... You know, they may not be able to get the success or not. And, you know, I mean, there are a lot of things which are happening mm. in the uh, minds of the people. But here, what is important for us to, we have to, we have to secure the interest of yeah, our local, we have, to, we have to secure the interest of our local people. And you're right. This, this is what I'm trying to say. You know, this is going to give a wider message to their own people. See, like, you know, I mean, in these developed country, there are people who like to do business. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, what, I'll tell you, what, I'm, I'll tell you what I make of these cartoons, mm -hmm. Chetan. And, you know, that's a question I throw out to the entire panel. BBC and and several of these other outlets come out as being very petty. Okay. That's what I, you know. These are global media organizations that they have been around for decades. Uh, 
uh, for them to be putting out these cartoons, uh, it's in poor taste. Can they come out being very petty. Can they do this for China? Can they do this for China? They can't do that. Hmm. Why they can do this for India? Hmm. This is a, this is a serious question. Okay. If they cannot do this for Israel, how can they do then, it for our country? Let me, then let me ask you another counter question to that. That uh, uh, when you talk about uh, whether or not they can do it for China and when you think there's going to be a reaction to it, uh, do you think India should also have a similar reaction? Then you will be sitting on this very table and then questioning that how is it that India can have a reaction to that? See, it is not On this very table, we can have a debate, I'm sure, and I can even imagine what Chetan Singh would be saying that time. Gauriji, it is not hmm. about giving a counter. It is about securing our interest. Hmm. It is about securing our own reputation. Hmm. If our reputation is at stake like this, when we have such a great achievement, should we come I down and stoop to the level of responding? I am not to saying these that. I am not saying that. It is important to put it across through the government uh, people, representative, Respond in, a, in an absolute yeah. strong yeah. communication. I think mm. interesting discussion. I'll make a few points. Mm. One, to the point about that, can Western media report about China the way report they report Sir, about India? So you will keep doing this. You no, will keep perhaps. doing this throughout the year, 365 days, and there will be no end to it. Mm. There will be no end to it. Hmm. One one news channel will say one thing, one international newspaper will say Fair another thing. Yes. And you will keep going there and defending yourself. Fair enough. So, may I complete mm. my point? Yes. So, right. I don't yes. think so it China, will help in any manner at all. China has always been a closed country. Mm. So the West never had access to China, what's happening in, in, inside China. So they don't have... They had those limitations. So that aside, a couple of points as to why the media is doing it. Forget the cartoons, mm. but the ones who are writing the articles, you see, partly they're lazy also. Mm. Partly they have a certain bias in their mind when they go out, they seek out the stories from India or let's say other quote-unquote developing countries which convey misery, sadness and their notions of floods and you know, underdeveloped kind of a thing. India is a land of snake charmers. Exactly. Mm. So one is that bias which has been there also that, okay, these are interesting stories. So one that, second they are lazy also. So that's also a bunch of combination there. But thirdly, I do agree and I think we all understand what Chetan is saying that improve our communications, but how do we do it? There's a question there. I'll put one point to it. You know, PR is said to be public relations and you create perceptions. I would say PR is performance and reporting. So what we perform, we report, but we have to report it in a smarter, quicker manner, which should hit the audiences there where we want to kind of maybe convey our messages. There, yes, one part of the role can be played, must be played, has to be played by the government. Nishatan Nigam, you agree with what Mr. Rubin Sashtar is saying? At the same time, other aspects can be there. Mm. You know, smarter communication but we sir, have this to be is doing. A, this yes. is a effect of ripple, this is a ripple effect mm. which is coming mm. up, Little you know, of mm. variety of factors. Mm. See, like in election time, we have seen that how India has put a, you know, strong duties on the dairy producer. So, so therefore, like again, you know, this is what I believe, not only for one continent, rather to across continent. But for God's countries. sake, you cannot so respond to trade ties with a with a stupid BBC that's cartoon. That's what I'm saying. You that's can't give saying. them this much amount of see, uh, uh, see, mileage. BBC is yes. an intelligent yes. organization. Yes. One thing, let us make a distinction between a country's Absolutely response correct, and yeah. BBC's <laughs> response. The entire world community has welcomed it. The mm. entire scientific community has welcomed it. Entire space journalists have welcomed exactly. this. Exactly. I saw some of those NASA yes. journalists as yes. well. NASA and journals as, as well. As astronauts. Yes. Former astronauts yes, former welcoming astronauts. it. And, yes. and saying such wonderful things. I think we best ignore such kind of isolated not pieces. Not and, and not to be responded upon. Once you start responding to such such you know low-level jibes, then I don't think India has already proved itself. Mm. India has performed. And, and, and has given to, to the world. <laughs> See, and, 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 those, and the reports are also taking, I told yes. you of the tweets taking place, hmm. I told you about Australian TV, you know, yes. commending the Indians, ISRO's performance and everything. I actually now, saw some very, uh, a very uh, positive coverage that actually came out in the French media. I was seeing that, forget the British media, Britishers have there's so much of their mess to deal with. If we start colouring our minds with what we think about the Brits uh, in the last couple of years, then you know, we will also be speaking and, through and, our and, slanted and positions. And Gauri, but the French media thing. was very, very positive positive in loading our efforts. And, and let me tell you, let me tell you, hmm. in next 10 years, you know, who all, who all are trying to become, you know, interplanetary uh, economic powerhouse. Hmm. It is, it, it's Russia, China, USA and India. Hmm. There is nobody else right now. 
even even European agency is not even close. Hmm. So that is is a threat that some of the people who are still in that colonial era and mindset yeah. are facing that kind of a threat. Hmm. And and the world has changed, but they have not changed. Some of these people have not changed. The scientific community with scientific temper is welcoming it. India has established world records on this, and therefore they know the potential of Indians. And therefore they are uh, allowing their own satellites being launched from Indian rockets. Hmm. I mean, what else you can do? The, that's the highest level of trust you have on uh, Indian scientists, science and technology. As I said, Chetan Singh, you know, these, these cartoons only make them look so petty and, and so very cheap. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I agree to you. See, like, you know, I mean, very, very so best recently. So best to ignore them? Uh, no, we cannot ignore them because, you know, these small leakages can come up in a very big form too. So therefore, what I'd like to say here, recently the Economics Intelligence Unit, EIU, has also downgraded us. Okay. A downgrade of our cities, rather. I'm sure Ravinder Sarasdev is going to agree to it. Mm. So they have, they are noticing it. Everything is getting noticed. So what I'm saying, you know, it is a ripple effect of variety of factors which are coming up. So here it is most important for us, our government, as we say, like you know, 56 inch and whatnot. We say we go, you know, across the country and you know, strike. Start it. responding to BBC's cartoons. No, no, it is important. Start responding not, to New York not, Times uh, articles. Not the cartoons, but to the specific. Unit hmm. to this specific organization, you know. I mean, if they if they are doing like this, have we a proper record something. that how many hmm. times they we have come up something. with these okay. kind of a derogatory, hmm. you know. Uh, you, uh, I mean, these kind of statements or pictures or so, yes. so that we should be able to take a strong step. Our, okay. our, like we have we have got a BJP okay. spokesperson, hmm. and what he would like to say on this, we let, like to hear let him let him respond. Yes, Yatinder Chaudhary, go ahead. Yeah, may I just say something? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't understand what Mr. Chetan is trying to put forward. He is saying that in, in world, whosoever puts something against India, no matter how bad the taste is, we should respond. Sir, there is an old philosophy that the elephant keep going and dogs bark. I am not saying they are dogs and all. <laughs> You have to learn to ignore hmm. and move forward. That's a basic principle. Hmm. Sir, individual level, you How may, you may you do that. Say that. No, no, somebody has put something and we have to respond. No, no, sir. I mean, too weak a response from your side. I don't understand this, sir. I don't understand this. Is a, this is a very, yes. very, very poor and a very weak response. Sir. No, if it had come no, from no. a United Kingdom government or the USA, one could have responded. See, you can't respond to sir, individual the, newspapers, you know. Sir, these yeah. are and then a small little cartoons. One I think could have responded to a government. To sir, and, and how can you respond so. to a I don't think so. Embassy is not like BBC, platform like BBC, to a newspaper. How can you respond? Every statement, what, what, what it goes in our media. Print media and everything. If I'm wrong, I think uh, Ravinder Sajdev can uh, answer it. Sure. I mean, I don't know if I would say wrong. Okay, the point is, yeah, sure. I mean, there's no point countering exactly BBC. Why did you write this cartoon? Our mm. government won't do that. Shouldn't do that. Right? Or to New York Times, unless it's something pretty goofy. But yes, we need to be doing more aggressive communication in these countries with both their, you know, officials as well as in the broader public. More, more information about India, the right kind of information appearing in this publication is absolutely a, mm. I would say, a must and required. Now, okay. may I, if I may step back, mm. I just wanted to share one thing. You know, uh, talking about how the various world players were looking at or are looking at the Isro Chandrayaan thing, since that was the question of how Australian TV did, and you mentioned about the United States, a close friend of mine, they run a startup in the United States, mm. it's a unicorn, you know, okay. a, a billion, billion dollar valuation space company. Mm. I'll just read the message you'll see. He says, Con congrats to Isro and India, looking forward to seeing all of the future missions. There was a lot of interest in the, here in the US on the Indian moon mission. Lots of people watching with excitement. This was today morning. Yes. You know, so yes, the validation is there. I mean, the world community you know, the is looking positive. scientific community is backing India. Yes. You know, who are these, who are these, you know, uh, 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 media organizations with their bias? Let them continue to exist uh, and come out with these racist cartoons. As I said, it only shows them in poor light and cheap taste. See, it yeah. doesn't make India, it, you know, it doesn't make India's achievements any lo lesser. If, if, you, if you, if you, if you, may I just say, may mm. I just say, May I just say, if you do something big and good, if you do something big and good, the message, the message will reach the audience hmm. where it should reach. Okay. It will I mean, reach to the correct people. Yeah, you don't need to put a banner and tell them. Reach anyway, sir, by the way. Okay. It you know, will you reach. Have to, 
रिपोर्ट आई एग्री परफॉर्मेंस कर लिया बट उसको रिपोर्ट भी करना पड़ेगा ओके ओके इफ वी डू समथिंग एंड वी सिट डाउन ऑन इट नो द वर्ल्ड रिक्वायर्स यू टू बी इन्फॉर्मिंग द वर्ल्ड ऑल्सो कि हमने क्या करा एंड दैट आई थिंक दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन और कम्युनिकेशन हैज टू बी पैकेज एंड डन अ लॉट मोर इन द सर दिस इज अ एज ऑफ सोशल मीडिया ओके सो आई दिस इज अ एज ऑफ सोशल मीडिया वन स्मॉल न्यूज स्प्रेड लाइक एनीथिंग ओके fair enough all right also, okay yes. let's 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 uh, wrap this up right here uh, as i said uh, these specific organizations with their clear anti india bias uh, only exposes their racist mindset and if you ask me personally as a journalist uh, uh, i feel these organizations should continue to do what they are doing it only shows them in poor light and india should continue to achieve greater heights because that's the only and best way of silencing these racists organizations thanks much for watching for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon